Hello friends, welcome to my channel MEP Solutions. My name is Priyanshu Moray and today we will talk about ventilation. So ventilation is comes from HVAC system, HVAC, I mean it's the B stands for ventilation. So basically we provide uh, ventilation in uh, three spaces normally. Uh, there are so many spaces where we provide ventilation, but normally we provide in a toilet, kitchen, and car park. Why we require ventilation? And what is ventilation first? What is ventilation? So, first of all, in uh, air conditioning or uh, ventilation, uh, our uh, role is to provide uh, better indoor air quality. So in which ventilation is very very important. So removal of actually its definition is uh, removal of bad smell, bad gases, smell, smoke, uh, uh, and providing fresh air that is called ventilation. So in our home also residential buildings in the villages you can see we use uh, ventilators. In Hindi we call it roshanta. So that is also the same purpose that uh, bad smell gas that tends to move upward and uh, it just through the ventilator and fresh air comes from windows. So that was natural ventilation but here uh, nowadays we can't uh, maintain that much uh, uh, fresh air or that, that type of ventilation. Now we use some uh, mechanical equipments like a fan and ducting to provide ventilation. So see, uh, today let's talk about toilet ventilation. So there are two types of toilets, public toilet and the private toilet. So what is public toilet? So toilet, uh, which anyone can use, that is called private, uh, public toilet, uh, like a toilet in a shopping mall, toilets in multiplexes and uh, in office buildings, hotels, restaurant, so that all are comes under public toilets. And the private toilet, you know, uh, toilets for selected persons like in our own residences, buildings, or in offices also there may be private toilets. Now there are two types of toilets. Once again, the continuous and non-continuous in private also. There are two types: continuous and non-continuous. So what is continuous type toilet? So continuous toilet is uh, the name is like it depends upon the exhaust flow or which is used or continuously also we can say. So in continuous toilet we remove bad smell, bad uh, odors uh, continuously like we use ducting. And in non-continuous we use exhaust. So we exhaust as for our requirement we can say. In private also we have continuous toilet and non-continuous toilets. So these two types we have in public, continuous, non-continuous. In private also we have continuous and non-continuous. So in continuous toilet we use ducty. In non-continuous toilets we can use uh, simple exhaust fan also. Now so we have uh, two methods to find exhaust CFM. So these uh, data we uh, I, I, I got from Asher, American Society of Media Person and Investing Engineers. So, you must know about the course, you must know about the, the uh, values, uh, where, where, where it, uh, that values comes from. So, see, uh, Asher is a society, uh, American uh, Society of Media Person and Investing Engineers. So, they provide us some selected values for HVAC system. So codes are uh, very very important. We use ASHRAE, we use ESHRAE, we use MAGNAS. So these are very very important. So in public toilet, see, in public toilet we remove 50 CFM per unit. So per unit in the sense, uh, let's say 50 CFM per toilet. From one toilet we will remove 50 CFM. CFM is cubic feet per minute. In one minute we remove 50 cubic feet of air from the toilet. Of size will be 
टू मीटर बाई टू मीटर द टॉयलेट साइज मस्ट बी टू मीटर बाई टू मीटर सो दिस इज फॉर ऑल स्टैंडर्ड एक्चुअली टू मीटर बाई टू मीटर इज नॉट एनी लाइक स्टैंडर्ड बट वन स्टैंडर्ड टॉयलेट साइज इज टू मीटर बाई टू मीटर बेसिक टॉयलेट साइज सो दिस इज फॉर ऑल for public walls and for the private walls in public uh, if it is non continuous then we remove 70 cfm per toilet 70 cubic feet per minute of air we will remove and in private similarly 25 cfm per toilet and 50 cfm per toilet from non continuous so you can see uh, these values are uh, more in the non continuous why because when the Fan when the or exhaust fans are switched off, then the smell will be more in the toilet. So at the time we need to remove more smell, more air will have to be removed. So that's why these values are little more. It is 50 in a non-continuous, it is 70. So in continuous we are using uh, ducting. So that's why these values are less because continuously the fan is running on the roof or on the wall, and through the ducting our Uh, air is going outside. Now let's see. Uh, I have one AutoCAD drawing. Uh, so friends, uh, I will uh, show you how to uh, provide ducting in AutoCAD also like this. So in my next video, I will show you how to do like this. How to provide the ducting? How to uh, use duct sizing of these things? So you can see here. Uh, we have number of toilets. So I just selected one toilet from any area. So procedures are same. So let's find out what is the dimension. I am using dimension command, or you can use uh, E L I. See, I am typing D L I. You can see here. Whatever uh, command I am using, it will show you D L I and the space bar. You can use for it. So the toilet size. Is you can see. Okay, just a second. It is two meter, and another side is also two meter. So all the uh, size of the toilets are two meter by two meter. So yes, we can use uh, this as a standard, and uh, I have. Um, Actually, standard table also. You can see this uh, table is from Ashley American Society of uh, Heating, Ventilation, and Air Conditioning Engineers. So you can see the toilet public 50 cfm and 70 cfm exhaust rate cfm per unit, and from the toilet private it is 25 to 50 cfm per unit. That is table number. Uh, 6.4 from the S. You can uh, find S online also. That is arrayed only uh, uh, data is given. So let's see again in my AutoCAD. Okay, now here we have how many toilets? One, two, three, four, five. Five toilets this side and five toilets this side. Yeah. So each toilet, uh, okay, as if it is a public toilet, public toilet, and this is continuous type. We are using ducting, and here we have uh, our exhaust fan. This fan may be on the roof. This fan may be uh, in the toilet also, in the exposed wall of the toilet. Exposed wall means this wall which is directly uh, connected to atmospheric air, so it can remove all the bad smell and gases. It may be on the roof also. Basically, we provide on the roof only. So the ducting will be it will go to the roof and there will be our exhaust. So each toilet 50 cfm we have to remove and total toilet so 50 into 10. Here actually we have so total toilet is equal to 50 into 10 is equal to because 10 number of toilets we have five on the this side and the five on the this side. The total 500 cfm we have to remove. Now something called uh, the passage area. This is our passage area. 
the free area. This is called passage area. Or assume if we have uh, like uh, in this area, if we have a uh, wash dish, then that also comes under passage area. So in this area, we will add that uh, lower trace we say or basin wash basin. So that also considered passage area. Only toilet village water closets are considered as the toilet. So how to calculate uh, exhaust flow from the passes area? This formula only we have for exhaust flow. This all the formulas from assay is for exhaust, not for pressure. We have formulas only for exhaust CFM. So these all are exhaust, 50 CFM exhaust, 500 CFM exhaust. Now let's talk about the passes area. So what is the passes area dimension? Let's see. So it is. Uh, 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 10800 <clears throat> uh, m. This is in millimeter, so we can say 10.8 meters, and uh, the width is uh, about uh, 2 meter width. So let's say here what is the size given. So in passing area, this is the mm by mm. So 10.8 meters by 2 meters, so 21.6 meters square. So for passage area, okay, let me show. So for passage area, we use one CFM per square feet. One CFM. Per square feet means in one square feet of area we remove one cm. So first uh, we will find out this area. We will convert this meter square into square feet. So one meter square is equal to 10.75 uh, or 76 square feet we can use. So one meter is equal to basically 3.28. Uh, fit so 3.28 into 3.28 so fit to fit to uh, sorry meter to fit that is one meter is equal to 3.28 feet so fit into fit this fit square so it is 10.75 basically we can say 10.75 or 10.76 okay so now we have uh, this area to 32.2 that is square feet so I show you one square feet is equal to one cm then uh, 233 uh, this is square feet basically 233 square feet so 233 square feet is so one square feet is equal to one cm 233 square feet is equal to 233 cm now how much total length of cm will be it is 500 that is from the toilet east toilet uh, no sorry from not from east toilet from east toilet it is 50 cm from 10 toilets it is 500 cm and plus that passing area cm to 33 airflow so total exhaust cfm it becomes 500 plus 233 it is 733 cm now what is this 233 divided by 4 actually we are using Four number of disc valves in the passage area. In the, this uh, two thirty CFM is uh, from passage area, right? So in the passage area, I am using four disc valves. So see, these are the disc valves. These are event driven devices uh, which we use to remove the uh, air from the toilet. So from each toilet, we are using one one disc valve. You can see here one disc valve, and each capacity is. 50 cm toilet size is 2 meter by 2 meter, and here we have nothing. And another 1, 2, 3, 4 disc valves for the passes area. So, here uh, we have disc valves which I will show you in uh, the AutoCAD. These disc valves we have. How to create this uh, disc valves and how to do all this drawing? I will uh, tell you in my another video. Basically, this is my first video. 
and uh, if you like it then please share it and uh, like the video subscribe my channel so i can uh, make another more good videos so let's see first uh, some disk graphs here we have another disk graph these are exhaust fan on the top of which i assume you like here uh, we are using uh, exhaust fan in the toilet that is wall mounted we can say but uh, actually this is not good because uh, uh, the smell of our building can go in uh, another building so that is not good and uh, some more disc valves these are us here also we have disc valve if you don't have pulse so we directly connected our disc valve to the duct now let's talk about pressure so once again let's repeat so we have 2 by 2 size of toilet and this is public toilet i am repeating this is tub pub this is public toilet so public continuous type toilet because we are using duct so 50 cm uh, per unit per toilet so total 10 toilets so 500 uh, cm from 10 toilets passage area over square feet is equal to 1 cm we found the area that is 21.6 meter square And 233 square feet, 233 square feet is equal to 233 cm. And we need four disc valves. From each disc valve, 58 cfm will remove. And the total cfm will become 733 cfm. Now let's talk about pressure because uh, not only removal of air because it will, uh, you know, uh, that area it will come under negative pressure. Negative pressure means less pressure, less air. We can say now uh, let's talk about pressure. So pressure will be 80% of exhaust air. So once again, this is not any standard 80%, 85, 75%, 90% also you can provide. Means uh, what is it means? Like uh, from this toilet area, if you are removing 100 cm, 100 cubic feet air, if you are removing, then 80% of 100 is 80 cm. So 100 cfm you are removing, then only 80 cfm fresh air will be removed. So see here, I am showing only single line for the fresh air. So the duct size will be same. I will show you later. So here we have exhaust, uh, sorry, fresh air fan, and this fresh air fan is providing fresh air cfm. How much? 586 cfm. It comes 586. And uh, let me show you how. So what is total exhaust? Is uh, seven. 33, 500 2, 33, 733, 733, 733, 733, 733, 733, 733, 733, 733, 733, So only 586 cfm we will provide as a pressure. Why we are providing uh, 80% because we need to provide negative pressure in the toilet or in any kind of ventilation area. In that part, you also need to see. So see, uh, let's assume uh, we are uh, removing the uh, 100 cfm and uh, we are providing 100 cfm pressure also. So the pressure is okay, pressure is zero. But when we open the door, some amount of uh, smells can go outside. But in case we have negative pressure in the room, so like uh, we are removing 100 cfm and we are providing only 80 cfm pressure, so the air that time the air will not go from Toilet to outside because this area requires still 20 cm. This whole area, this whole area will require still 20 cm because only 80 percent pressure we are providing. So that time when we open the door, the air will come come from outside to inside only, not from inside to outside. So that's why we are providing negative pressure. So this is the method one, which I show you as per as per. And now we have a uh, method two also. So method two, we will uh, uh, use uh, ACH method. So that method we will uh, see in uh, my next video. So please subscribe my channel if you want uh, this type of interesting video. I am showing everything from the basics. Thank you so much. Goodbye.